hello guys welcome to investors vibe my name is philip and today i'll be talking to you about hollow chain a scalable dlt in this review we are going to look at how the tech works its similarities and differences to blockchain because hollow chain is not a blockchain the team behind it the token economics of the hot token and finally my take on the potential of the network so guys thank you for your support if you have already subscribed but if you have not please go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell for all of reviews and news in the future thank you holochain is based on the agent centric approach unlike blockchain and many other dlts that take on the data centric approach in holochain each agent has his own temper proof hash chain Every action that an agent takes is recorded on that hash chain only and everything is signed by the agent's private keys. It does not have any effect on what happens on another agent's chain. So unlike blockchain and many other DLTs that require all nodes to work together to achieve consensus and maintain the security of the network, agents in Holochain only secure their own chain. This means transaction speed does not matter because each app acts as a separate chain and does not affect the performance of the other chains on the network we will also look at right now the distributed hash table dht a dht also used in BitTorrent and ipfs but in holochain it works as the public space for all the agents hash chains dht prevents the scenario where a source chain goes offline and the rest of the agents can't access any history or data that are stored on that hash chain. For example, if an app is built on Holochain and is public for all to access, then it is necessary to have a different node to store the data stored on the source chain so that it will still be available even when the source chain goes offline. Redundant copies are therefore created for each agent depending on the application. Another feature in Holochain is distributed validation. Even though there is no consensus in Holochain, there is a validation rule called DNA. This gives validation instructions for agents to follow in the source chain level. To prevent malicious acts, copies of the source chain entries are broadcasted to other agents and are held against the DNA to prove the validity of a transaction and to prevent bad actors from manipulating the network. This consensus-like approach only happens at the processing and the sharing levels and not on the storage level. So, right after the DNA, an immune system is created. In a situation when a transaction is proved to be invalid, a message is gossiped to other agents to confirm this bad actor. Depending on the settings of the immune system, the entire chain can stop communicating with that bad agent. But this has to be different from each chain to the other. So this is how the Holochain network works. It seems a bit complicated, but in short, it's really cool. It helps in solving the scalable issue. On a security level, it does use the DNA to ensure that data received is valid. And the immune system helps in, in gossiping the invalid transaction as a message to other agents to prevent the bad actor from having an effect on the network. Now that we know what the network is all about and everything that is in into it and how it works, let's look at the team behind it. The people leading this project are Arthur Brock. He has worked at GM Chrysler and Hughes. Also, Eric Harris Brown. He graduated Yale and they both co-founded MetaCurrency project. Now, let's talk about the token. Holochain doesn't have a built-in currency. Holofuel, hot. It's not a required currency on the network and the developers can build their own version of the token. Like I said earlier, there is no consensus on this Holochain network. So there is no token that is needed to keep the network safe. Therefore, the Holofuel is the token used to maintain the security of the Holo, a cloud hosting network for the peer-to-peer -peer application built on Holochain. It is also used as fuel on the Holo network. Using proof of service, users are rewarded with Holo fuel for sharing storage and processing power from their device. So, it's so lightweight that it can be run on a phone using only your spare resources. By using the debit and credit accounting system, Holo fuel is taken from an account 
that request for a service and Holofuel is added to the account that performs the service. This helps maintain a supply of the Holofuel in relation to the actual value of the network. So the supply of Holofuel is therefore dynamic depending on how valuable the network is at any given time. So now that we've known what Holochain is, what it stands for, we've seen the team and we've also talked about the tokenomics. So what do I think? Well, my take is it helps in solving the scalable issues that many DLTs face and it also makes it easy for apps to be more customizable. But this makes it very easy for apps that do not require the highest level of security like social media, supply chain, cooperatives. We just wait to see how things turns out. So guys, thank you for watching. My name is Philip. Here's Investors Vibe and this is my review of Holochain. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Let us all know. Share with the community. Thank you. Bye.